What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through a quick full day of eating and we're also going to be doing a wee bit of training. So let's get to it. Thanks for clicking on the video guys. Um, before we get started, just want to say if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to them. And without further ado, let's get into the video. And we are back. So we've got blueberries, porridge oats, almond milk, PB2, which is basically powdered peanut butter. Uh, it's a lot less calories than real peanut butter. And then we've got banana, so I'll get all this ready and we'll have breakfast. And we are finished. So we've got iced coffee, got our oats all mixed in. Uh, it's nicer than it looks. Um, I'll put the macros up on the screen somewhere and I'll finish this and I'll get back to you guys in a second. All right guys, welcome back. And I'm just about to head out and do some chest and biceps in the home gym setup that I've got going. Um, but before I do, just wanted to say quick shout out to this one. She's going for a 200 kg deadlift at the end of the week. So she's, uh, she's on a bulking diet, as you can see, she's resting up because she needs the energy for that deadlift. So guys, we are back in the kitchen and I'm about to go train, um, chest and biceps. But firstly, I'm just going to mix a quick um, pre-workout shake. So I just have some regular pre-workout. Just above a serving. It's that one there, Peter Pistol. And then what I'll do is I will mix that up and then I'll mix a wee bit of aminos with a tenor monster and I'll drink that throughout my workout and then I'll drink this about 20, 25 minutes before. Also guys, quick side note, um, you don't need pre-workout, it just gives you a quick buzz. Um, it's like drinking coffee, but uh, I like the taste of it. So I'm gonna drink this and then I'll actually just do a time-lapse of mixing all this, so enjoy. Okay guys, we have made it to my garage where my home gym is. We've got a rack, Olympic bar, a bench just behind me and about 90 kg worth of plates. A um, couple of pull up bars and dip bars as well. Um, so I'm gonna start off doing a bit of bench, um, do a warm up and then work up the working sets, which is gonna be about four or three sets of 12 um, at around 60 kg. So let's get started. Okay guys, workout is done and we're gonna make some lunch. So what I like to have for lunch, I like to just make a massive salad that keeps me full for as long as possible. So I've got spinach, rocket, tomato, avocado, and some lettuce. 
So, and then I've also I've got some Norwegian line cob smoked haddock. And then I'll just fill this bowl full of salad and we'll get into it, man. And there it is so that's it done it's one big salad that'll keep me full for a while gonna add some ketchup right now i'm using this one uh sometimes i use the 50 percent less salt and sugar and doesn't really matter too much this one's only 6.6 calories per 15 grams so i'll use that and then yeah i will see you guys in a bit that is the salad done and i am actually quite full so which is a rare thing um so i'm gonna go edit some videos and i will see you at the next meal we are back once again in the kitchen and this time we're creating dinner so i've got these chips uh which i'll stick in the active fry um three percent fat meatballs Half the avocado from earlier, yellow pepper, tomato, small one, and some more spinach. And yeah, let's get it all made. And there it is, dinner. So I'll put up the macros for this meal just on the screen now. And I will eat this, get back to editing, and hopefully this video that you're watching should be up around nine o'clock. All been well, but I highly doubt that because my editing skills are not the fastest, but I am patient and I will get there eventually. I will see you guys once I finish this. Thank you. Okay, so dinner is eaten. And now I'm gonna have one of these uh, for full bar. And then I think that might do me for today because I'm not too hungry. I could, to be honest, go without this, but I need the protein, so. Yeah, looks like this is what I'm gonna eat now. And I'll see you once I've eaten it. Ta-da, it is finished. Um, macros for that bar will just be up there now. Um, I think that I will have some, just a tiny bit of Greek yogurt and that'll do me for the rest of the day. As if by magic, yogurt. So I'll have a small bowl of this, probably like 100 grams, and then that'll do me for the day, so nothing crazy. Um, I'll put the macros for this uh, up on the screen now. There is another one I have, which is a little bit lower in calories, but um, I'm okay for calories today, so I'll just go for this one. But yeah, so I'll have that, and then that'll do me for the rest of the day. Okay guys, so that'll about wrap us up for this video. Um, just before I go, just a recap. Today, total off at about 1,994 calories in total. Sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. Just depends what I bet on that day. Um, bear in mind that I'm on a cut, so what my goal is basically to lose as much fat as possible. Um, I do that by being in a calorie deficit, and that's what you need to do. If I was maintaining, I'd probably eat around 2,300 or 2,500. Basically, when you're cutting, you want to be in around a 300 to 500 deficit. Maintaining, obviously, you want to be in maintenance calories. And then bulking, you want to be about 300 to 500 above what your maintenance is. Um, depending on if you do more cardio, obviously, your calories need to be higher because you're burning off those calories from doing the cardio. 
Also, by the way, carbs, just for a quick overview, carbs are 4 calories to the gram. Protein is the same, 4 calories per gram. And then fats is actually 9 calories per gram. So fats are a lot more calories. If something has more fat, usually it's going to have more calories. Also, what I eat, nobody has to be as strict or as lenient as I am. Um, I, I, I enjoy eating healthy, I enjoy eating salads, fish, you know. I do have like the things like the protein bars, you know, so I don't restrict myself too much. You could get shredded from eating McDonald's. It's probably not advised, but if you are in a calorie deficit, you will lose fat no matter what. Same goes with maintenance. You can eat, as long as you're hitting your calories and your macros, it doesn't matter too much what you eat. For example, I usually stick around my fats around 60. Carbs, I just, it's just whatever. I, I don't mind with carbs. And then proteins, usually 150. Usually you want to do protein for about a gram per pound of body weight, maybe a gram and a half. But I, what I do is I enjoy eating protein, it keeps me um, full throughout the day. So yeah, I think that wraps this video up pretty well. Um, if you enjoyed it, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, turn the notification bell on and the rest. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.